Hey everyone, this is Prabhat, co-founder NetGate. I'm here to discuss about our newly launched features, database and API actions, using which you can sync back the rule outcome back into your system using our database and API connectors in a very easy no-code way. As a quick recap, NetGate is a local no-code rule engine and workflow automation platform that can help you launch any personalized customer-facing flows fast, experiment more, and iterate faster so as to realize full potential of your idea much sooner. With Nectip, you can cut down your time to market drastically in least effort and with utmost efficiency. To get started, all you have to do is first connect your database through our pre-built database connectors. Then write a custom SQL query to unify all your data in particular manner so as to bind it against rule directly and then you can build any rule in a no code editor very easily where you have to just attach the data set with the rule so uh, for us to fetch the data automatically for you and you can build any kind of a conditions using those attributes which are present on back ends and using a very no code way as well as you can set any kind of an outcome as a result of this rule again in a no code way once done all you have to do is call this rule via api and e in fact integrate this api back into your system in a very easy way it's that simple so let's talk about our features. So in this use case, what we are building is a lead discovering algorithm where if a customer is posting any lead or doing some behavior, we want to update the score of customer or lead based on a lot of parameters and eventually update this score back into database. So what to start with, what we have to do is first bind the data set in which all the data is present which we want to use on the rule as well as also we are gonna have some fresh inputs to this lady score passing on some attributes which are not present in the database for example say browser locale or if you say net speed or utm source the campaign through is the customer is coming so obviously we want it will not be present on the back end in the first row but we want to calculate the lead score based on it and then update it back in the database so there will be some inputs which are coming fresh and there will be other inputs which we have which will be fetching from database directly using the key that we would have mapped for us once that is done all your attributes will start appearing here all the custom input attributes which are very fresh which will send us via api or even your database attributes which will directly be present here now you can just start building a rule so suppose if i want to add a rule in terms of net speed and say if a user has a high net speed I want to score him high but if he has a low internet speed I want to score that customer low again based on the nature of your product nature of your customer nature of your company as you want so you can just write add those attributes write quickly those rules and set up a lead score in this case, what the customer is English speaking, we want to score him higher or her higher. But if a customer is non-English, then we are setting up this is score lower. Similarly, but if a customer is coming from website or to my influential post campaign, I want to rate him or her higher. But then if is he or she is coming from Facebook, I might rate him lower. Again, this is to calculate a lead score based on which I can prioritize my customer's calling or my customer conversion or anything that I want to do it via this score. Uh, so in this example, so suppose if a customer is Mac, then I want to have rate him higher. And if a customer is Windows, then I want to rate him uh, lower. We can also do it based on other campaigns. So say if I also have a Google AdWord campaign, what I can do if a person is coming from Google AdWord, I would want to rate him higher. So it's that simple, right? So you can just add as many combo as you want. 
afterwards because a uh, customer can match to multiple combos here based on the utm source based on browser router based on device so what we have also given is a custom javascript code where you can actually manipulate or transfer data as you like so in here what we need is a sum of all the scores that will be calculated by the rule match so what we are doing is just writing a basic javascript code where we are just summing everything to actually update it back once this is done now i want to update it this back into my database i can do it via two methods either i can call my database directly by writing some update query in which what i have to do is i have to just click on this add action choose the database integrator that i have built in in the integration tab and once i click on that database it will open up basic sql editor for me where i can write any kind of a sql query update that database you can access any kind of token here to use it in your queries with custom input uh beat any kind of output and you can frame your queries and then just be done with it if you don't want to use database directly and if you have an api exposed wire what you can do perhaps is you can go into the rest api integrators again which you would have configured in the integration tab you can select the api you want to use so suppose if you want to update this lead score there is an api update lead score on clicking which it will open you a basic no code editor where the url will be coming from integrator all the headers which have predefined will be coming from that for authentication of ant now you can just define the content that you want to pass and and give it that in the format so if it is uh, in this case and this is also having all the token available to it where you can pass any kind of a custom input at some lead so as to pass it to the database once all that done you would like to test it out because before testing we don't allow publishing so suppose now i want to test for a person who has a map who is coming from website has a browser local english and say the customer number is 112 i want to test it out so in here there are three rules that have match and the sum of all the scores is 40 this is what will come go back as an api response but then there are these two actions that have also performed both are successes and the first one was a db operation so we are in you have updated a db and the second one is is an api response where you can see for the customer 112 the score 40 has come back i can go back to our dataset just to see if the result have been updated right or not so this is a db that we have updated i'm just selecting for the customer's data and if you see for 112 the 40 number 40 customer score has been updated i can run again just to have another scenario right so i can go back let's say this time we want to don't go with mac any any device but we will say okay if it is website and if the local is english and say if it is the same customer i want to do it now the score is coming 25 right because there are only two attributes that are match and again there were two actions that were performed when was a db operation and another was a api api call if i go back again to my data set to just see if the update has happened or not so you can see for the customer 112 the customer score 25 has been updated so with nected what you can do is you can bind your database to our rule to fetch the data directly build a rule in a no code way and then actually take any action via our database and api connectors to update that rule outcome back into the system all at one place done very easily and it's that simple i would love to connect with you to explore your use cases and help you show how nected can do things faster and better for you uh thanks for your time and looking forward to our talk and happy to help wherever i can